Hello and welcome to Trudy Haynes Discovers Delaware. What a diverse show we have today. We're going to be talking about the Walk for the Cure. I'm sure you've heard about that, but there's some new things that are coming along on cancer research also. We're going to be talking about Dr. Doolittle. And I know you know about him. You've heard about him, and he's going to be appearing at the DuPont Theater right here in Wilmington. And we're going to be talking about something very dear to all of us. What do you do when you're called down by IRS? Well, we've got some very advice for you. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. At Brandywine Furniture, we're all part of the family, our extended family. Our staff takes care of you and this business like it's their business. And that is the difference between Brandywine Furniture and the other stores. It's the people that you're going to deal with that make the difference. So come on down to Brandywine Furniture during our 30th year anniversary celebration and see how fun an experience furniture shopping can be. The other payday lending company may help you. How do I get a payday loan for $500? Yeah, you must be employed for a year. You must have a checking account for a year. You must have good credit. What a headache. At Easy Money, we believe in you. Getting a loan is easy at Easy Money. All you need is a job and a checking account. Bring in a check and we'll hold it until your next payday. Then you're on your way with up to $700 cash. Easy Money, where you are worth more. If life were like a sitcom, you could marry your best friend, finally move out of that apartment, have a baby, and all you'd have to worry about were the ratings. But real life isn't scripted, so change can be scary. That's where Allstate can help, by handling all your changing protection needs. Auto, home, life, even retirement. Life changes. Your insurance should keep up. Located just minutes from Wilmington next to Painter's Crossing Shopping Center, Family Chrysler Jeep has been serving Delaware for over 25 years. Over 300 vehicles in stock at all times. That's family choice. Thousands of dollars in savings. That's family values. A name you can depend on. That's Family Chrysler Jeep. We also offer special financing to qualified buyers, so stop by our showroom located on 202 next to Painter's Crossing or visit our website, FamilyChryslerJeep.com today. You know us. We're family. Kate McKenzie is my first guest. She's with the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation. Foundation not Incorporated. Foundation. Foundation. It's a big one. And <laughs> it's, uh, I guess it's all over the country, but I know we always hear about it in Philadelphia and in Delaware. And you're representing mm -hmm. Delaware now. Well, actually, the Susan G. Komen Breast, Can Breast Cancer Foundation is a national organization. It was started numerous years ago by Nancy Brinker because both Nancy is a breast cancer survivor and her sister, who is Susan Komen, Susan died from breast cancer. Mm. And as she was dying, she asked her sister to promise to try to find a cure so that other women would not have to suffer as she had. So Nancy took that under her belt and away she went and now Komen Foundation is probably one of if mm -hmm. not the largest yes it is uh, nonprofit fundraising organization in the country what happens to all that money I mean every year we hear about all the money but are we getting any closer to uh, uh, you know finding the answers oh things have changed so in the years that I've been involved with breast cancer and breast cancer issues but what happens to the money I'll address that first uh, so much of that money stays in your own locale. As in Philadelphia, I'll explain a little bit about that. Philadelphia is the local affiliate for Delaware, for part of New Jersey, up to Bucks County in Pennsylvania, and west to Lancaster. So it's a very large area. Mm. Funding, the largest fundraising initiative is the Race for the Cure for Philadelphia. With that money, and that includes all these uh, surrounding areas all of these you just areas. mentioned. There's one race. It's on Mother's Day. That's May 14th this year, at the Art Museum. It's a great race. We so have, all you Delawareans, come on up, right? We have a <laughs> lot of individuals from Delaware who have been coming up uh, for the last 16 years. This is the 16th year right. in a row that uh, they attend. But what happens with the funding is that 25% of all funds raised go to the National Komen organization. That money goes to national research. I see. Seventy-five percent of the money raised stays within that area that I just explained. 
And it is just remarkable because it goes into education into the community, awareness into the community, screening and other programs as well as uh, treatment services and things like that. Let me tell you what we give to Delaware already. This year, the different organizations like Christiana Care, the American Cancer Society, the um, Bay Health Organization, which is in Dover, and Dover and Milford, as well as the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, a half a million dollars mm. is coming to Delaware. And that's that in money, one year alone. And that is this 2006. So there's lots of programming that's taking place. And money has been coming into Delaware for a long period of time and uh, to help educate mm -hmm. people, to help with screenings, the paying for the cost of having a mammogram and paying for the cost of what happens if you have an abnormal mammogram. So that's just Delaware. Mm -hmm. That's not including what goes on in New Jersey, the money that stays in Philadelphia and out in Lancaster and up north to Bucks County. One of the programs I have to tell you about that Komen does, we work with partners, the American Cancer Society and some of the other organizations in Philadelphia. There's a program coming up in April for Latina women. There's a program coming up in May, and that is for Asian American women. We have another program coming up in December for African American women. Now this is probably the third or fourth event for the African American groups, but the second and third mm. go oh. around for the Asian American women and for the uh, Latina women. You know, and it's amazing, Kate, that you should say that because now we realize that cancer affects everyone. You know, we, we used to not even think about Asian and, and other countries having cancer, but in here, in America, we right. have to think about that. Most definitely. But what I was going to say about those programs is that for each one that we've had, we've had nearly a thousand women at every single mm -hmm. event. So that's a lot. And to talk about, again, back, what have we done with the money? We've been able to offer some money towards these programs. And second of all, we've been able to work with local hospitals, like Tenet Hospital at mm -hmm. Hahnemann, mm -hmm. to bring women in for screening. Tenet Hospital had come to Komen for some money for screening. They had to come back to us last year because there were so many women from these different events that they needed more money for more screening. So that just means the word is getting out, women are paying attention, and they're getting screened earlier. And are that's so any important. Are closer to an answer? By all means. The main well, thing I know is, everything is more sophisticated now than it used yeah. to be, so we must be progressing some way. We certainly are. I mean, just think about over the last few years what we have now. We have new x-ray equipment. We have new ways of looking at those mammograms and other mm -hmm. forms of imaging. We have new treatments. That's the important thing. Early detection, early treatment. We have new medications. We have new ways of radiation treatment. It's an exciting time. Things are changing. And women are living so much longer. The mortality rate continues to decline. And that's the important thing. And the other important thing is to get your mammogram each and every year. When does that start? What age would you suggest we start that? Well, most people say start at 40. Some people say 45. Some people say 50. So definitely check with your doctor. If you have had a uh, relative, your mother, grandmother, mm -hmm. or a first-line aunt who has passed away before they went through menopause with breast cancer, if they passed away from breast Time cancer to before be menopause, alerted. you need to start early. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is starting at about age 20, you definitely need to have a clinical exam from your nurse practitioner or your physician. You need to know what's normal for you and what's not. So practice breast exams. I was just going to say breast exams. definitely know what's normal and what's not. <coughs> mm -hmm. And go to seek some help if you find something that wasn't there the last time. And come out for the march, the walk for the cure, and that date again. It's going to be Mother's the, Day. The How race for the that? cure <laughs> is Mother's Day, May 14th. It's an exciting time. Bring your family. Like I said, there are 45,000 people that participate. And it's one of the largest races in the country. And uh, rain or shine? Ra oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't. The spirit is there. Come it's out a, for it. It's yes. a great way to celebrate life. It's a good way to celebrate Mother's Day, to start it off and uh, to bring, make it a family affair. Kate, thank you for coming in. 
Don't go away. We'll be right back with some very important information about what happens if you are called for, uh, from IRS. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trudy. The other payday lending company may help you. How do I get a payday loan for $500? Yeah, you must be employed for a year. You must have a checking account for a year. You must have good credit. What a headache. At Easy Money, we believe in you. Getting a loan is easy at Easy Money. All you need is a job and a checking account. Bring in a check and we'll hold it until your next payday. Then you're on your way with up to $700 cash. Easy Money, where you are worth more. When it's time to remodel your kitchen or bath, you want the process to be as simple as possible, right? Then you need to head to the Mega Flooring and Home Improvement Superstore on DuPont Highway. JHL Brighton and Contracting Plus have joined forces to take you from selection to installation in one easy step. The Mega Flooring and Home Improvement Superstore carries all the hottest brands in flooring, cabinets, and countertops on the market. You go. You choose. They install. What could be easier? So give them a call at 322-1528. It's that simple. Delicious food, personal service, and great shopping at the market. A Delaware tradition. Bring family and friends Friday and Saturday, 10 to 10, Sunday, 10 to 6. Discover us on Route 13 across from the county airport. The Newcastle Farmer's Market. Fun stuff, great prices, and definitely not just for farmers. Get it all at the market. The Newcastle Farmer's Market has it all. With the first pick in this year's draft, Dallas selects Cordell Russell, wide receiver, Nebraska. Life comes at you fast. Be ready with Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Greg Semenek is with a representative for IRS, and I got you on the carpet now, so let me start right away. Everybody wants to know, anything new this year? Well, basically, we're encouraging taxpayers to e-file their returns. It's fast, it's easy, and it's accurate. If you file going up to the April 17th deadline, you get your refund as little as two weeks or less. If you owe money, you can file now, designate payment on April the 17th, so it makes it easier for you. You can file now, pay later. <sighs> You said April the 17th. I thought it was the 15th. Usually is, but this year the 15th falls on a Saturday, so your ah, return, yeah. you have two <laughs> extra days. It always falls on a business day, and this it's year... It's still going to be a rush to the finish, but uh, still it gives people a little extra time. And you're right, and that's why we uh, encourage taxpayers to consider e-filing to take the stress out of it. We don't want taxpayers to panic, and pardon the pun, we want to make it less taxing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You're a pleasant enough guy. I will say that, that the uh, IRS uh, people have been a little nicer to the public lately. Well, basically, we've listened to the public. We've made enhancements and changes, for example, on our website at www.irs.gov. What the public wanted, they wanted forms available right on the home page. You can get your tax forms right on the home page. They want the latest news and information regarding e-filing and also free filing. You can file for free and online at the irs.gov website if your adjusted gross income is $50,000 or less. That's for taxpayers that really don't make a lot of money mm. and really need the free services, and that's what we're trying to provide to the public. Oh, so you don't have to pay these big fees to go to someone else, huh? Particularly someone that has yeah. a low income. And right. We also have volunteer income tax assistance sites throughout the communities, particularly in Delaware, to help the taxpayers out. If they're low-income taxpayers that earn $38,000 or less, if they're non-English speaking or disabled, they can call IRS at 1-800-TAX-1040 and we'll give them the site nearest to them to get free tax return assistance. Okay, you get a, at least a B plus coming up. Now, Thank you. when all that is done and you get called down, this is panic time. Anytime you get a letter, we want you. We don't want you to panic. And basically you can get a, a letter for a few things. So let's say you owe money. Don't panic. This day and age, if you have an outstanding bill with the IRS and it's the first time, you can request an installment agreement. You, the taxpayer, can request it. If the balance is $25,000 or less, you have up to five years to pay it, and you pay a consistent amount each month. 
you request the installment agreement for that outstanding balance. The worst thing you can do is not file a return because you owe money and you're in a hardship situation. We'll work with you. File that return timely, request the installment agreement, we'll review it, and if it's approved, we'll get back to you, and you can work out your taxes. Don't have to panic there. The other approach, <laughs> you get a letter from us saying there's a discrepancy. You may be called and requesting information as relates to an audit. In most cases, you'll receive correspondence from the IRS and will state that we need to verify information from the taxpayer. Doesn't mean that you did anything wrong, we just want verification. Mm. All you need to do is provide the records that we're requesting and we'll go from there. Now one thing we do see in this age of computer technology, we do something we call document matching. You know your W-2 that you get mm -hmm. with your wages, the Form 1099 if you're an independent contractor or self-employed showing that income, we match those documents to your tax return. So if there's a discrepancy there, we'll send correspondence letting you know we found a discrepancy and then for you to get back to us regarding that issue. How much is the interest if you have to pay it on time? Well, with the interest, it basically it's uh, uh, reviewed uh, periodically, mm -hmm. and I believe it may be anywhere between the 6 to 8% range for That's interest. That's too bad. So, but there also is a late uh, payment penalty, which is a half a percent per month, so you have tacked that on to that percentage mm -hmm. rate. But failure to file, let's say you owe money and you don't file the return timely, the failure to file penalty can be up to 25% of the unpaid balance. Just for not filing. For just for not filing. So it's important oh. to file, even if you owe, pay as much as you can, and request that installment agreement. Now, when you file, and it's not all of it, it's not sufficient, do you put a little letter in there and say, hey, wait a minute, fellas, I'm coming up with the rest of it, but give me some time, or do you wait until they call you and say you didn't pay enough, you owe this, what do you, how do you do that? You're correct on both accounts. You can do it both ways. When you file your tax return, you can request that installment agreement by writing the letter with the information I explained, or you mm -hmm. can use Form 9465, which is right on the irs.gov website. So you print out 9465, complete it requesting the installment agreement, and attach it with your return. Or if you file your return, there's a balance due. When you get that first uh, notice, mm -hmm. that first letter from the IRS, then request the installment agreement, again, using Form 9465. So you're right on both accounts. All you right. did your homework. <laughs> do you do this by phone? By, uh, I mean, how do you do all, make all these arrangements? It's done by correspondence. Okay. When you mail your return in, you mail it's the Form 1040 in with the Form 9465. And if you get the first notice, which is also mailed to you, you also would submit the installment agreement request, again, the Form 9465. You can tell for all my questions, I've been called down. Now, when no, you go... No. <laughs> you did your homework. When, when you go, though, do you go alone? Is it better? Come on, give us an insight. That's a personal that. decision. If Basically, most of the audits or examinations are by correspondence. But if you do need to meet with the IRS in person, it's a personal decision that you want to make. Do you want to go with your records in person or bring your taxpayer representative with you? So that's a personal decision. The key thing to remember is record keeping. You want to make sure your records are organized to deal with the issue and deal with the issue that the IRS is requesting. So basically Don't just, offer any additional information. Well, well, basically, that's the <laughs> issue that they're questioning. That's the one you want to deal with, okay. and that's the key thing. You want to stay focused and, and be specific with that particular area. Greg, if we have to get you, what do we do? <laughs> You're not a personal... Uh, personal that we can get to very easily, I'm sure. Well, you know what? I encourage taxpayers to go to the website. We've enhanced the website at www.irs.gov. By the way, I cover Delaware and I'm throughout the state, but we do have a toll-free assistance line at 1-800-TAX-1040 for all taxpayer needs where they can talk to the IRS and get the information they need. Oh, you're so nice. I wouldn't object talking to you. Neither would you. We'll be right back and we're going to talk to, well, not talk to him, but we're going to talk about Dr. Doolittle. The other payday lending company may I help you. How do I get a payday loan for $500? Yeah, you must be employed for a year. You must have a checking account for a year. You must have good credit. What a headache. At Easy Money, we believe in you. Getting a loan is easy at Easy Money. All you need is a job and a checking account. Bring in a check and we'll hold it until your next payday. Then you're on your way with up to $700 cash. Easy money, where you are worth more. If you want
want your grass to look like it was cut by a pro, you need to shop where the pros shop. Wilmington Lawnmower. For the past 40 years, commercial landscapers have relied on Wilmington Lawnmower for top quality equipment and a peerless repair center. Wilmington Lawnmower features the hottest zero-turn radius mowers on the market today. Zip around trees, cut hills with ease, and with a top speed of 11 miles an hour, you'll be done in no time. Wilmington Lawnmower also offers a complete line of Cub Cadet and Red Max equipment. That's Wilmington Lawnmower in Claymont on the Philly Pike. Located just minutes from Wilmington next to Painter's Crossing Shopping Center, Family Chrysler Jeep has been serving Delaware for over 25 years. Over 300 vehicles in stock at all times. That's family choice. Thousands of dollars in savings. That's family values. A name you can depend on. That's Family Chrysler Jeep. We also offer special financing to qualified buyers, so stop by our showroom located on 202 next to Painter's Crossing or visit our website, familychryslerjeep.com today. You know us. We're family. Change the way you look at home theater forever with Thunder Room Technologies, your one-stop home theater experience. With free in-home consultation, see for yourself how your custom home theater will come to life. Tailored to fit your budget. From our highly sophisticated voice command and smart room technology systems to our basic system, we have what fits your needs best. If you can imagine it, we can build it. So make your dreams a reality today and enjoy the next level in home theater with Thunder Room Technologies. Peggy Lofting, she Lofting Shepherd is the granddaughter of Hugh Lofting, who is the author, or was the author, of the children's books, Dr. Doolittle. John Sherub, did I do it right? Sh got, got, got pretty close, yes. Okay. <laughs> John Sherub. Is the uh, rep is representing the Dupont Theater and brings all these wonderful plays to uh, the Dupont and is bringing in a musical version of Doctor Doolittle, and when does that start? That's that opens April seventh through the fifteenth, and starring uh, nine-time uh, Tony Award winner Tommy Toon. Oh, marvelous, marvelous! He's so, such a great it's performer. He dances fun. and sings anyway. That's absolutely. And how are you going to get the animals to talk? Well, by puppets, various uh, various types of puppets, ah. handheld, uh, marionettes, um, costumed actors, as well. Fabulous! So, so How long? Be, just one week? It will be running to the fifteenth, this Saturday. Yes. Oh my! That's right. Did you ever talk to your grandfather? Unfortunately, I never talked to my grandfather. You never met him. Never met him. But through your father, you got to know him. Yes, I did indeed through my father. My father, I think, was very much like him. Uh -huh. Very much like him. Very creative. What did your father tell you about his father? About his father, that he w he was a wonderful man. He was he had this unbelievable. He was gift. British. He was British. Yes, and uh, although my father was born in this country, grandfather Lofting was born and raised in England, and it was um, it was letters to my father and his sister that was the creation of the Dr. Doolittle series. It was during the war. He was over during the war oh. and he just, he hated the atrocities of war. And so in, in order to write home and stay in touch with his two young children, he made up he this had a camouflage character, exactly, oh, who talked really? to animals and did all these little drawings on the letters and everything else. And then of course- And genius was born. Yeah, exactly, right. Genius was born, and now we have all of this to remember. Uh, this is your version that's coming to the DuPont Theater is based on the first version, uh, which was done by Rex Harrison, I believe. That's right, yes. Who, the by 19th, the way, is also British. <laughs> right, the 1967 uh, musical uh, uh -huh. version. Eddie Murphy then later recently did one that was I saw on television, really. And um, that was a little more talking than, than music. <sighs> I don't know how he ever got the idea, but uh, now it, uh, I understand that he had to camouflage because everything was censored, probably. Yes, yes, I think it was, and I think that he just he just wanted to cover up. I mean, why write home to your children of the atrocities right, of war right. and all these things that were happening? So he just literally made up this fictitious character and told stories to his children through letters. Have you ever seen e either version of uh, the Doolittle movies? Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. And did you feel that we did a nice job on them? Yes, I think the Rex Harrison one was, was, it was fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. I, I imagine this must be sold out. 
by now. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, not not quite no no. So There's tickets still, are still, still available. Absolutely, tickets are still amazing, available. Amazing, amazing. So right. where can they get them at the Dupont Theater? The Dupont Theater people can call six five six forty four zero one, or check out the website at www.duponttheater.com. Tickets are actually going uh, buy one, uh, get the other half mm -hmm. off. Uh, so they're offering. Okay. Uh, offering families an opportunity to come see the show. This must be a wonderful thing for children. Absolutely. Uh, do they, they, don't get, uh, they don't get intimidated by the, by the idea of animals talking, or do they go home and start talking to their cats and dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. This is uh, ideal for children and families. And uh, I, uh, Tommy Toon is very excited about introducing live theater, interactive theater, to children through this, this show. So. Uh, Hence the, the, the special offer mm -hmm. to families uh, and, uh, and, and an opportunity to experience live theater. Get away from the televisions and go to the mm -hmm. theater and, and experience it. When you were a child and you heard about your grandfather a lot, did you end up trying to talk to any of your pets? Someone has <laughs> asked me that. And uh, not really, not really. We always knew he was a fictitious character, yeah. but it wasn't as if we didn't believe that you could communicate with animals. Yeah. Not to the extent that Dr. Doolittle could. Because there are whispers who claim that yes, they can talk. Yes, horse whispers. Yes. 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 But you're not yeah. one of those. Oh, I believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, I hope that it's, it's successful. Um, the book itself is still one of the best sellers, I imagine, for children. I think, I think it it, yes, I think it is. I think it's 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 sort of having a um, reincarnation, mm -hmm. um, thanks to the stage plays and the musicals Moving and in, yes. all the things that have gone. It's, people are sort of rediscovering the book series. Well, April the seventh seventh is going to be at the Dupont Theater. Thank you so much for sharing it thank with you. us. Thank you, Judy. And, and thank you very much. Having you both to come and John, I only promised to do it once, John. <laughs> I did it once. <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed our show today. Come back again and visit with us. We want to thank Kati for our makeup again and our camera crew, of course, who do a marvelous job in helping us bring this show to you. This is Trudy Haynes for Trudy Haynes Discovers Delaware. <laughs>